can do this the stealthy way. I just don't feel like it at the moment. So here we go, <laughs> they're all dead and we can do whatever we want to do. So just a little quick looting because I you know, already did it with these corpses. Now there is a little bit of an underground weapon stash and um, your goal was to actually find it for the policewoman. And um, the stash itself is located here, which is reachable if you wanted to do it a stealthy way from the sewer. And here we are. And you get a shiny weapons mod. But there is one thing. I really want to get the rifle, so I hope it's gonna fit. No, it doesn't fit. I think it needs two more. <laughs> Sucks, I need to throw something out. Well, that's not an issue to throw out. Okay, here we go. Got the rifle now. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, trigger in the main mission before I go back. And you can see the money is just going up and up and up and there's nothing that you can do to stop that. You can buy every single item a vendor has to offer. You will still not be able to deplete your uh, cash flow. Okay, the mind game. Oh, <laughs> we have too much ammo, and so we can't pick up any more of it. Uh, yeah, let's just use this on. Once again, super easy, even though everyone should have hacking by now. And I mean, not just level one hacking. Access granted. Okay. Boss, is that back door still open? No, good job. Frank just sent me the all clear. Now it's time to find the bastards who attacked us. 
Farida, are you standing by? On the line, boss. Jensen, you reading me? Loud and clear. Stay close to the antenna. Pritchard sent me the coordinates for it. I'm coming to pick you up. Now in Hangsha, uh, you actually get a message when you you um, move forward to yeah from from basically from one of your side missions to a main mission, and you don't complete the side mission before you do. Then the progress will be dropped. Uh, I'm not sure whether you get the message here, but you should know that. So yeah, in some areas you just can't get back to, like. Um, Lower city and upper city in Hangzhou. So if you don't do it the proper way, or you just keep you know, one little side objective um, for later, you might find yourself in a stupid position that you kind of you know did all the work and you can't turn the mission in. But, um, I have to say I'm really sorry that I'm dragging you through all the running parts but the game itself has certain massive amounts of uh, yeah go there pick it this up or kill that and then just go back did you get everything we have to get that son of a bitch jensen i think i have everything excellent jensen i knew i could trust you my guys got their hands on double t and you identified the shipment apparently you weren't so subtle with the last part but Hey, at least the job is done. What else you got? Here's the weapon used in the dealer's murder. Hope you can make good use of it. You bet, big boy. I've got a feeling O'Malley's guy will become a lot more receptive to interrogation once he knows I can pin this murder on him. I paid a little B&E visit to O'Malley's apartment. There was a second shipment of weapons, government issue. I don't know how he got his hands on that type of hardware, but the man's got reach. Great work found something else? I managed to hack into his personal account. I think you might want to check any connection O'Malley has with FEMA. There's definitely something going on there. Good. The more dirt we dig up on that asshole, the better our chances to put him away for good. Got anything else? No, that about covers it. I think O'Malley's plan was to start a controlled gang war between the derelict row ballers and the Motor City bangers. You might want to check into that. Really? All right, I'll keep that in mind when I review all the evidence. Well, that's it. You did a great job. Here's a step I promised you. We've got more than enough to nail him now, and I want to make a move before that son of a bitch gets wise. But I ain't got no backup, and I doubt he'll go down peacefully. You've already done the bulk of the job. You want to put the finishing touches on yourself? Yeah, of course I do. It'll be my pleasure. Perfect. My contact tells me O'Malley's gone back to his apartment. Go get him. I'll be waiting for you in the alley near the building once you've taken care of that scumbag. And um, this is good for several reasons. And the main reason is basically um, the secrets I wanted to show you are all in the first part of the city. So we would have to go back there anyways. That's why I didn't pick up on the main mission. So, what I'm going to show you now is how to get the sniper rifle if you didn't choose to get it. And then I'm going to show you how to get the special sniper rifle if you didn't consider buying the special edition. So, either way, you can get either of the sniper rifles just right at the start of the, of the game and uh, first I'm gonna get O'Malley killed or well stunned for that matter and then I'll show you the little secrets yeah and if some people are trying to tell you, oh, this game doesn't have enough ammo and I'm running out of it constantly. Just look at my pistol ammo or, you know, everything for that matter. It's just too much. There's no way I can get rid of it unless I shoot, like, yeah, every single guy with 10 bullets. So here's a melee. 
and uh, I like to get close to him before I start the conversation. But you have to put the weapon down before you start it. Mr. Jensen, don't know why I didn't recognize you the first time. Here to make sure your treachery is complete. Treachery? You lie, steal, murder, manipulate, and cheat on a daily basis. Men like you shouldn't even be allowed to use the word treachery. Your little outburst is quite amusing, Mr. Jensen. I didn't mean any of it as an insult. Whatever. I'm here to arrest you. I strongly suggest you consider a peaceful resolution. I'm afraid I won't be able to comply, Mr. Jensen. But allow me to make you a different offer. I'm listening. I don't resent you for what you did. You played your cards and alliances well, and it's something I can respect. Still, it doesn't mean that I accept defeat. I'm willing to transfer to you a rather enviable sum in exchange for my freedom. No. I don't think so. No more games. You're going we to don't need money. So be it. Who's there? Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. That's it with the melee. And he's sleepy sleepy. And we can just go and collect the reward. Um, people who give try to give you money for anything are just useless. I would rather accept a weapons mod or something like that. that you can't just buy for money. Because they're quite limited. So? What happened? He looked a bit tired and it made him grumpy. He's asleep now. All that's left to do is go in there and cuff him. I've always liked your style, Jensen. I know I've said it a couple of times already, but thanks. You've done a really good thing today. It's been a pleasure working with you again. Just like old times, eh? Good luck with, well, whatever it is your cute ass is working on these days. Slot. Okay. And I think we also got a new Praxis kit. But now let's start to show you the goodies. The really goody goodies. Uh, I will start out at the Serif Industries helipad. There is a secret there that uh, requires level 5 hacking. Uh, you could also use... Um, one of the automated hacking tools if you wanted to. Uh, they are these little things. You use them like grenades, get them out and um, throw it on the lock that you want to uh, have opened. And they'll just go zap zap and that's it. I'm pretty sure there are lots of secrets that I haven't found. But, yeah, I'll try to show you the ones that I know of. And that are worth showing around. So if you go down here... There's this level 5 security lock. And um, let's try it out. Mm -hmm. 